Hello, I am the curator and this is today's item. This in theme with, uh, I suppose, sort of in theme with Scrabble period of time. Although I might, this might extend it now to crossword board game slash dice game period of time. No, that's silly and I'm silly for thinking of it. This is crossword. Now, um, I'm sure you've played games like uh, Boggle, I think it's called. I've not played it. Uh, where instead of having a board that you um, use uh, the tiles on and such like, you have dice instead. Now I did do some research and there are actually crossword dice that use a similar method to um, Scrabble. They have like seven letters and there are sort of wild cards and such like. And I will try and get some but they're very old and I imagine they're rare. I do enjoy a good dice, a die. I'll probably do a video about di dice. Dies, dies. I shall do a video about dies because, um, you know, uh, sunset magenta times bluage hundred is certainly something worth looking at. But today we're looking at this instead. I will try and do a video about dice because I am interested in dice, um, and I do have a couple of interesting ones. This is crossword. Uh, it's flawed in this type of way that some words are harder to make because of the way they've clustered together and um, that may make it a bit of an issue which is probably why I didn't catch on quite as well as Scrabble did but we'll have a look nonetheless it was created by Milton Bradley as you probably able to see there in 1978 so hence jumpers and uh, there we go Ooh. 1970s fingers. Um, it's, a, not a, it's not a big box compared to some of the, uh, the boxes I've had in the past. As you can see, my hand nearly you know, covers it. Nothing on the back. Uh, not a great amount on the side. Uh, made in Holland, some content uh, components imported. So I have the right to alter the colour of components. Made in there, Holland. I'm not very good with Holland names, as you might have been able to guess from the quick video. Uh, 1978 by Milton Bradley. I've said that already. Uh, crossword, the roll and tumble crisscross word game. Uh, eight to adult. Um, incredibly yellow children. I think they might have joined this. And I think crossword games are the least of their worries. But yeah, here we are. Um, plastic pretend leather dice cup, which is... Fantastic. I must admit, I am missing a die. Uh, there should be like 13 and I have 12, or there should be 12, I only have 11. But here they are. Um, as you can see, they're not. They're alright. It's just, uh, I suppose they're not ideal. And uh, it happens with games today. You see it all the time, you know, clones and, you know, attempts to be better. Yeah, there's the timer. I'm probably going to stop the recording briefly, re alter the camera. Uh, so you can see it better. So uh, a quick jump cut, if you will. Yes. Anyway, uh, I've tilted the camera down and it very much would like to see its own tripod. So I had to have a few stern words with it. Anyway, uh, the first word I can see is sex. Just putting it out there. Um, here are the dice. Uh, here is the timer. Uh, doing a quite competent flower impression. Someone thought it would be a good idea to um, draw on this particular thing. You can see the shadow of the camera there. That's why I don't do downward shots quite so much, because my lighting is terrible. Anyway, I think uh, we shall have a quick sample game. So, let's put these in here. I know at the very least I should be able to get six. Yeah, it's the only time I'm going to be able to get That's not the story. Uh, right, so. Uh, oh. Clever me, I forgot to put the things out. Right, uh, talk amongst yourselves. Oh, I had a very nice day today. I saw all sorts of things in all of the shops that I didn't go in because I'm saving up for a gaming computer. What? What are you still doing here? I'm having internal dialogue. You're not supposed to be looking at that. My eyes and ears and mental capacity only. Uh, anyway, go. I think... See Embry, but that's not that's a name. About Ember. I'll go for Ember. E 
M, B. I know the letters are rolling everywhere and you shall want to murder me. Uh, e and R. It's what happens when I don't flatten out my backdrop before I start recording. There was a bit of a stain there. Oh, I should get this cleaned. Don't ask why the stain is there. Um, I could have peck, like people who kiss in a very odd manner and the thing that chickens do. And uh, key and uh, yeah. Right, I win with time to spare. I think I get many points. Right, another jump cut so I can put the thing back to the way it should be. And by thing, of course, I meant the tripod. Get your mind out of the sewer. Especially if you're a game developer. Sewer level stopped being fun a very long time ago. Anyway, crossword. Is it worth getting? Probably. It's not a terrible game. It's just not very... So it's not as engaging as uh, Scrabble, I don't think. I suppose it's the lack of a board and lack of anything specific. I mean, all of the rules are here. I mean, I'm not even joking. I don't know if it's supposed to come with a rules leaflet, but it didn't. And no, that's me sort of double-checking the box just in case I missed it. I haven't. Uh, yeah, it's all right. I like it. If you can find it, do get it. It's fairly interesting, but Scrabble is better. And that's why this is the last video of the month. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed Scrabble period of time. I certainly did. The uh, Let's Play Against Monty, whilst it wasn't very funny, I enjoyed myself. It was interesting playing against a Scrabble computer. And uh, this rounds off the end of Scrabble period of time. Crossword. Scrabble, but dice with the 70s and not very much in the way of rules. Yeah, bye.